In the book of Genesis 1 and 28, God tells Adam and his wife to be fruitful and multiply. How many times have I read that scripture? Here we go, church. Adam and his wife were eating fruit of the trees. So they were eating knowledge. And it was the trees that fed them. And we know that the trees were the nations. We know that by Ezekiel uh, 31 and 3. But nevertheless, they ate of the fruit of the trees. They were eating knowledge. And they were childlike. They had no knowledge of good and evil. They were not mature Christians. They were not mature in any way to make a mature judgment between good or evil because they had knowledge of neither one. But nevertheless, they were eating of the trees. They were eating fruit of the trees. And what they were eating, they were to be fruitful and multiply. We see that Eden is the sanctuary of God. We know that by Ezekiel 47 and 12 that tells us that the river went out of the sanctuary of God and we know by Revelation 22 and 1 that the river of water of life certainly flowed from the throne, the seat of God and the seat of the Lamb which being the seat of mercy and grace. Certainly Isaiah 66 and 1 tells us that the Lord's throne is heaven. So therefore, Deuteronomy 11 and 21 tells us the days of heaven on the earth. In Genesis 2 and 10, certainly heaven was upon the earth. And we know where the serpent was, was not in heaven, in this spiritual place. He came from the field. Matthew 13 and 31 tells us that the field is the world. So what do we know? We do know that wherever our feet go, we are to possess that land. And uh, certainly it was no different for Adam and his wife, the church. And we know she is the church by Genesis 2 and 21 through 23. Because she is bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. And we see that in the book of Ephesians 5, 27 through 30. And the mystery of the church in verse 32. Well... What do we know? We know that God allowed the river of water of life in Genesis 2 and 10 to flow out of Eden that watered the garden and it went from there into the world. It flowed from a spiritual place, heaven, into the world to water the dry places. Psalm 68 and 6 tells us that's the land of the rebellious. So what do we know? We know that outside in the world where the rebellious were, it's the dry land. It is not only the dry land, but it is a place of chaos. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. When the earth was without form and void, it was chaos. So it was chaotic. It certainly was in darkness. So we see the river of water of life flowing from the throne of Adam. Because Adam is made a king and a priest. He's crowned with glory. Having the image of the Ancient of Days, Hebrews 2, 6 and 7. Revelation 1 and 14, the image of Christ. Daniel 7 and 9. Proverbs 16 and 31 tells us it is the white head that is the crown of glory. So he certainly bared the image of the Ancient of Days. But even bearing the image of the Ancient of Days, he was not mature. He certainly was not in the place to be able to eat of the tree of knowledge. Therefore, he could not 
have that throne, the white throne judgment. No throne of judgment. So Adam and his wife are eating the words of God and they're eating the fruit. And they are living in the midst of the kingdom of God because it is the kingdom of God. And the serpent is of the field. He is of the world. Adam and his wife are the glory of God before the fall. But the whole earth was to be covered with the glory of God. Habakkuk 2.14 And we know also by the book of Isaiah. So what do we know? Adam and his wife were to be fruitful and multiply just like us. God wanted them to fill the earth with his glory and to be fruitful. To sow the seed and bring forth fruit of what they were already eating. To go out into the nations and the land of the rebellious and share to sow good seeds, not only in paradise, but to sow good seeds in the world. If the Holy Spirit's going out there into the land of the rebellious, wouldn't God want to send Adam and his wife, the church, out into the world because they had power and dominion over it? They were to be fruitful and multiply, to fill the earth with the glory of God. Praise God, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In other words, they were to go out and share the kingdom of God, to be fruitful, to bear fruit of this kingdom, of the Spirit of God, and to cover the earth with the light of the glorious gospel of what they were eating to be fruitful revelation 22 and 2 in genesis 2 and 9 we see the tree of life revelations 2 and 7 which is in the midst of paradise of god we see it is still there Adam and his wife were to take the fruit of Eden and take it to the world. And that's exactly what we will do in Revelation 22 and 2. In Revelations 2 and 7, when we eat of the fruit of the tree of life, which is Christ, uh, we will be fruitful and we will take the fruit of the tree of life and take it to the world, the nations. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. So it would be the whole tree. And that's why us in the new heaven, the new Jerusalem, will do the exact same thing that Adam and his wife were to do. You see, we're going to fulfill their role. the What they did not complete we will. Christ and his church. So we see that if the leaves of the tree of life is for the healing of the nations, so is the fruit of the tree. After Adam and his wife fell, the image of God changed. The mirror, as it were, the illusion changed to corruption. It became distorted as looking through a glass darkly. That's what 1 Corinthians 13 and 12 tells us. They no longer could see. It was unclear. It was distorted. It was an unclear vision of reality on probably how they even saw the world. But one thing I know by the power of the Holy Spirit they no longer could see God. They no longer could see into Eden, the spiritual realm of God. And the unclear vision of reality on how even we see the world. But in the end, 
we will all see it differently because it will be what it truly is. We will no longer be seen with the illusion of time because it's been distorted. Adam and them changed the glory of God. He no longer could see into the invisible. Only could see into what was visible that he could see with his own eyes. And at the end, we certainly know there'll be no more illusions and no more mysteries. Even how Adam looked into the mirror image of his wife after the fall, knowing full well their eyes could no longer see God, and the image of God was distorted. The true image of God was changed. And the true image of God was now hidden in the spiritual realm, the invisible, Eden. Was it a dream? Because Adam and his wife's eyes were opened. And the only thing they can see now is the world and this fleshly realm. And that was exactly where the devil wanted them. Now they are in the field, in the world. And they have become as one of them in a fallen corruptible state. They were no longer living in heaven under the authority of God, but now under the authority of the ruler of this world. Thinking out loud. I love to think out loud, church. I do. We know that Satan can certainly transform himself into an angel of light in 2 Corinthians 11 and 14. Was that what he did in the garden? Did he try to bring light, revelation, knowledge to the church, the woman? We know she's the church, Genesis 2, 21 through 23, Ephesians 5, 27 through 30. The spirit that seduced the church, that this spirit was bringing not only light to the church. Are you getting me now? Are you getting it now, my dear precious friends? Are you understanding what the Holy Spirit of God is revealing to us in this amazing revelation knowledge by the Holy Spirit? That a seducing spirit, Satan certainly can transform himself into an angel of light. Was that what he was doing when he went to the woman that represented the church in the book of Genesis? That he was bringing revelation. And he wanted the church to think that God was withholding knowledge from the church. After all, the church, the woman, Adam, they were free to eat of all the trees. But the tree of knowledge of good and evil, Adam and his wife, were commanded by God not to eat of this tree, lest they would die. Adam and his wife were childlike. They were not mature enough to make a judgment of life or death. And if they would have ate before they were ready, which they did, they ate before they were ready. And they were already in a deep sleep. Under the spirit of slumber. What they ate. They were not mature enough to understand. Certainly were not in a place to sit in the judgment seat of Christ. Or the white throne judgment. But we know that God created the last Adam. 1 Corinthians 15 and 45. That is the fullness of God. That certainly will sit in the white throne judgment in the judgment seat. But let me share this with you also. That serpent certainly knew that they were not mature. But he was. He's an old serpent, Revelations 12 and 9. 
He's a wise serpent. He certainly desired that knowledge. He was already sitting in heaven in the seat of the accuser of the brethren. That's what we see in the book of Revelation 12. But he desired the seat of the throne to make judgment. He wanted the throne, the white throne judgment in Revelation 20, 11 through 15 to judge the world. He already was ruling and reigning over the nations right now. But he lacks one thing that he so desires his knowledge of good and evil to have the throne of judgment the power of the white throne judgment to judge unbelievers the throne the seat of Christ is the judgment of believers but I tell you this church I tell you the truth that in hell and heaven they will both believe when they stand before Jesus Christ face to face can you imagine those in heaven standing before the judgment seat of Christ to judge the believers and then the judgment seat, the white throne judgment, is to judge unbelievers. Certainly, Satan desired that power and authority. Adam was crowned, but he was not mature. He ate before he was ready. He was not mature. He's still in a deep sleep. He has the spirit of slumber. What he ate, he still did not understand. And the devil certainly could not steal that seat from him. Because Adam was not ready for that seat. If Adam would have fulfilled that day in the perfect will of God, he would have come to that place of the fullness of God and then he would have had the right to judge the rebellious, those that fell, those that were in a fallen state. The devil escaped judgment that day and Adam fell in judgment. Just like in the days of Christ. Remember when Christ was taken? Christ fell in the seat of judgment. And the thief, the murderer, the one that was there was set free. They let him go. And that's how it was in the beginning with Adam. He fell in the seat of judgment. And the thief got set free. Because if Adam would have fulfilled that day, he would have been a mature Christian. And he certainly would have sat on the white throne judgment and judged those that fell from heaven. Isaiah 14 and 12, Lucifer, the light of the morning, found himself to be worthy of worship. He was prideful. Adam believed Romans 14 and 1 and 2 tells us that we eat and believe we can eat all things just like Adam and his wife did. But Romans tells us that he that eats herbs is weak in the faith. Adam was weak in the faith because that's what the meat of the tree was that he was eating from that meat he was eating was not meat. It was herbs. And he that eats herbs is weak in the faith. But Lucifer, the light of the morning, found himself to be worthy of worship because he's prideful. And we know that the devil can transform himself and take a form and be visible. The ruler of this age. We may be in this world, but we are not of the world. The ruler of this world has no power or authority over us, the born-again children of God, because God has delivered you and I from the dominion of darkness, and he has certainly brought us into the kingdom of Jesus Christ. 
Colossians 1 and 13, Paul was sent by God to turn people from the power of Satan to God. That's what Acts 26 and 18 tells us. Those that are spiritually blind are blinded by the ruler of this world. 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, this is the work of the devil. And certainly the lies of the devil are taking root in the earth today. Certainly, we see so many that are spiritually blinded. So you think on these things today, my dear, dear, precious friends. Think on these things. Have a blessed and victorious day today, my dear, precious friends. In Jesus Christ, most holy name we pray. And let the church say amen and amen. God bless you, my friends.